Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss how to create a data validation list in Microsoft Excel 2007 or later. Now, the very first thing that we're going to want to do here is create a list of whatever you want your data validation list to be of. So, personally, I'm going to have sheet one as my home sheet. This is what's going to be visible to the end user. So, I'm just going to first rename that as home. And in sheet two, I will keep this sheet invisible so that the user cannot see it but you don't have to do this for your data validation this is just something I'm going to do as my preference I'm going to go on and select sheet 2 and I'm going to you can pick any range you'd like but in this case I'm just going to do uh, D3 no big deal start off with January because what I'm going to do is create the months of the year for the user to select a month so I'm going to do January February highlight this range and go on and drag it down so that we can go all the way to December Now the next thing you're going to you're going to want to do is highlight the range that you'll be working with that you want in your data validation list. Once it's highlighted, go to your name box and go on and give the list a name. In this case, I'm going to give it a name of months of year. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard actually. You don't have to do that, but I'm, from here I'm going to hit enter and that gives it the name. So now you can go back to any cell and your name box is just the name of the cell but if you were to highlight your range again that you have established as a list you'll have months of year now we're going to go on and um, hide this sheet go to our home tab and you can pick any cell you'd like wherever your the home of this list is going to be well, let's just go on and put it on cell B5 select a month I'm going to expand column B and in B6 this is where I'm actually going to want the drop down list for the user to select a month so with the cell selected go to your data tab data validation with the menu that comes down click data validation under settings allow we're going to change that to a list now this is where your source will go for your source list what I'm what you have to do is hit put the equal sign and put the name of the list that you'll be working with. If you don't put the equal sign, the list will not link up. So just to give you the example, if I was just to take off the equal sign and just put months of year, we won't have a drop down list. All we're going to have is months of year, which is not what we want. We want the actual drop down list of the months. So let's go back to data validation. Change months of year to equals months of year. Go on and select OK. Now the user will have the option to select the month. And if the user was to try to enter the data manually, they will get an error if, if what they type in does not match anything in the list. So for example, if we were to just type in the name John Doe and hit enter, Microsoft Excel will prompt them that the value they entered is not valid. A user has restricted values that can be entered into the cell. So we just go on to select cancel or retry and we can go on and make our selection again and you're all set i hope you enjoyed this video about data validation and how to create this list and I hope to see you again soon thank you for watching